Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the House of Karma. I'm your host, Carmen Serrano, also known as I'm Your Karma, and I'm here with the 2019 pop independent. Oh my God, wait, let me say this all over. So much stuff. It's <laughs> independent so much, pop on it. <laughs> 2019 LDM Music pop nominee, Jesse Vega. Hi. <laughs> How to are the you? Yay, I'm back in there. And I know this is your second. Yes, I know this is your second time coming. Mm -hmm. We had a little bit of technical difficulties in the first one. It's but, natural. you know, to be a nominee is huge. Mm -hmm. So make sure you guys, you go and you vote for Jesse. He's, he's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. What? Oh. It's, it's crazy. It's like to be... Uh, nominated again is uh, a big deal i mean coming it's like wow we're already in 2019 it was just like wait wasn't i nominated like last year like already here like that fast and the awards is happening in june like wait a minute let me enjoy the days like that's awesome let me tell you something i was nominated myself no twice. way twice yes i was nominated was twice. last year um, the, the first 2017, the, the first um, in the LDM Independent Award Show, I was a nominee. And where did twice. you peak? Where did you peak at in your category? What category was it? Um, I was in gospel and I yeah. was in hip hop. Uh, gospel for my song "Dear God" and then hip hop for "Get Down." Now you, oh my God. so I feel you. So I That's feel good. You. So I, I, I feel excitement, but. Yeah. Um, for you, like you have that song, He'll mm -hmm. Never Be Me, mm -hmm. which is, it's like a catchy song. I was listening to it the other day and I caught myself and I'm like, oh, I actually have you on my phone. Oh like, my God, thank my, you so much. Yeah, I have, I have your songs, um, He'll Never Be Me and then uh, the new one, the other one. Um, That's uh, have, um, which one? So many of them. The last one that you performed here. Oh, show you i'm gonna show, show you, show, you. Yeah, yes that I, was my first single i'm gonna show I you yeah for those oh my god yes i'm always listening to thank it you so it's amazing i love it thank you what what made you write it what made you so write with it? he'll never be me and show you okay so with he'll never be me a friend of mine his name was melvin penna and he was writing he was always writing songs but he never like put it out there he was like, I'm going to put music, I'm going to put music. I'm still waiting on that, Melvin. But <laughs> <laughs> every year, he's like, I'm going to put music. But I guess he found his place by songwriting. So he had this song, and then he was like, oh, I want you to sing on it. And now, mind you, I'm not a fan of dubstep kind of, like, music. Because I don't know if you remember, like, in 2011, there used to be all this dubstep, like Justin Bieber, yeah, my Britney, little, and I all that. I have a younger brother who, he's a breakdancer. He's all into that dubstep. Yeah, it's like that. Rah, rah, rah. So in the beginning, I was <laughs> like, uh. So he's like, no, it'll be good for you. It'll be good for you. So then I was like, okay, let me try it. So then I like, I really love the lyrics, you know, like that kind of confidence will never be me. Like that person will never be what I am. This stuff. So it was like that kind of uh, boost of a song. Like, oh yeah, I, I got it like that, whatever. And then um, we worked on it in 2017 before I did another song called Be Your Face. And then what happened was I hold it in the back burner. And so it's not ready for this kind of EP. I'll wait for later on. And then when I finally was ready to put it out, I did the whole music video thing. And then I said, okay, I'm going to put it on LDM radio. And then next thing you know. You're being nominated. I'm being nominated. So it's like crazy. It's like, awesome. It's an amazing feeling. And I noticed your shirt. Let's Yay. It can never be me. Yes. Barney. So <laughs> the it. thing is, I love Barney the Dinosaur. My mom, she just wrote to me on Facebook. Uh, Facebook. She was like, oh, God. Because <laughs> my, you don't know, like, the, the craziness that I went, like, I put my mother through when I was, a, like, like Girl, two years old. <laughs> So she's like, oh, my God. So she's like, grow up, kid. And then, but she loves me to death. But it had to do with Barney? Um, Not the song. I just love Barney. Like, I'm a oh. fan. Because since I was a kid, I love purple. I'm a big favorite fan. Color. I love purple. Anything color. like villains or anything, I love yeah. purple. So Barney is like, it holds a deal to my heart because that's how it all started for me. So, you know, I got this thing called Hand of a Be Me. So it's a great way to promote it. So make Absolutely. sure you vote it on LDM Radio. Radio. That's right. Mm -hmm. The pop category. Jesse yes, Vega. pop category. And it's crazy. Like, the... The competition is very heavy this is, year. This year, it's a lot of a lot of amazing artists. How many are, how many people who like? Because there's like top fifty, if I'm not mistaken, right? How the many like 20, you know. like this? So it's, it's it's like fifty people who like that. That's it. It stops at fifty. Um, no, it. The thing is that it it goes by votes. So okay. The the more people vote for you, the more likely you are to be on the top. I don't know ten. But I think the top ten are the ones who get to perform, right? No? 
Oh, so it's random? Okay, so. No. Okay, so so you don't have to be on the top 10 or top 15 to perform. Oh, that's awesome. So anybody can perform as long as you submit your music um, to be nominated. Yeah, you have to submit your music and have your song um, nominated to be. And you got to promote because the most important thing that um, Charles always talks about, and this is the thing that it's Absolutely. very important. Some people don't like to promote because some people feel like, oh, I don't need to. I'll do it one time. But this is your brand. You know, right. this is your baby. This is what you put out there. So it's like you're putting it in a platform like this. We can do so much. But if you don't go out there and post or Instagram stories yeah. or share it, no one's going to know. And you know something that a lot of people know, LD Network is the number one radio station mm -hmm. in the world. So go out there and get your music nominated, voted for if you're an independent artist. This is the place where you want to be at. Yes. When we come back from this commercial break, we're going to have more with Jesse Vega. So please stay tuned. Yeah, don't go anywhere. <laughs> and here are the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the pop category. Shea Dream with Money Time. This is Money Time. Get your money, get your money, girl. Hey, get your money, get your money, girl. Hey, get your money, get your money, girl. Jesse Vega with he'll, he'll never be me. Never be me. He'll never be me. He'll never be me. He'll never be me. Virgo G with Island Vibe. It's you and me. Island Hopping. Sipping drinks on a boat. The sun is blazing, not the plane. We just here for the island breeze. On the island, on the beach, it's you and me. John KT with Better Man. These were the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the pop category. Welcome back. If you guys are just tuning in, I'm here with pop nominee for the 2019 LDM Independent Music Award, Jesse Vega. Hi, we're I'm back again. About, yeah, we're sitting here. We're talking about his nominee. This is your second time being nominated. This is my second time nominated. being nominated. And uh, like to be around top 10 is amazing. That's great. Because once you're top 10, it's like people have been voting. And I have to say thank you guys so much That's for crazy. showing support and love. And I thank you. And it could go anywhere. That's the thing about these award shows. Like It could go anywhere. You never know where it can go. You could be like, oh, That's I know crazy. this person won't win. Oh, this one. But it, it you even, never know. Even for yourself, just to be a nominee is a huge it's a huge accomplishment. It you know? is. Um, now, let me ask you, being from the LGBT community, what do you want to bring out for your fans and for, you know, the people that are in that community that are watching that feel like, okay, like we're finally starting to make a, a voice for ourselves, mm -hmm. a name for ourselves, and we've got a, a nominee right here. I would just say, like, not only just, like, the LGBT community, but everybody as a whole, um, I would just say, like, you can do it. You can be your own business entrepreneurship. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, oh, my God, you do so many things. How can you do it? Like, what is, where is this motivation is coming from? You know, it's like, it's so hard. I just say, like, you got to believe in yourself and you got to push yourself full force because if not, what's going to happen is if you don't be consistent with your brand and your craft, then it's like you say, oh, I'm ready to do this. And then if it doesn't interest, you just pivot to the left and then you forget i just say keep going and don't stop and it's possible to just make a name for yourself and be independent and do it alone because nobody's gonna give you a silver spoon That's right. what was the hardest thing being you know being gay being an artist to come out what was the hardest obstacle that you had to endure with the, in the within the industry Oh, that's a good one because I feel like with the music scene, that's a good question because in the music scene, there's not that many um, successful LGBT artists unless if you keep your personal life personal. Right. 
right. and not showcase it like that because a lot of times they like to branch like the lgbt in certain boxes right. and yeah we're still coming out of that and and you know it's becoming more mainstream but i feel like we're still not getting enough of the respect that we want i feel like it's it certain places they turn they kind of sensationalize it a little bit yeah. so i would have to say that um yeah we, we're having a voice for ourselves and that is important but uh we just also got to prove that we can do it ourselves and we can still be business people and do our own videos and music and sponsor our own self so that's the only best thing i can say that's right i can honestly say that um go i filmed last year for the first time um at the gay pride in the bronx mm -hmm. and it was such an amazing experience because the energy the vibe everything was so positive everybody was so happy you know what i mean it, it kind of felt, and there was not only gay people there, there was also many, a lot of straight people. Right. People that I know personally. Right, like, right. Oh, what you doing here? Yeah. I'm, nothing. I'm just coming here for the food. Or I'm just coming here to see whatever. And the performances was, it, it was like out of this world. I was saying um, the last time, there was a, I think her name was Miss Egypt or something like that. Oh, uh, uh, Egypt La Beja? Yeah, yeah, I was I, just talking to her earlier. She's in my aunt's you know Miami her? now. Oh my God! That girl came out. She was just singing. People were just running up to her, throwing money. Yeah. I'm like, I'm in the wrong field yeah. over here. And that's the thing. We're the... running up to her to give her money. Uh huh. She's just doing her like, she was she was amazing though. We 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 work our asses off to like do what we gotta do to show our show ourselves and perform and do what we we can to like let everybody know that we exist, we matter. And not only that, the most important thing about just not only being um part of the LGBT, but also push yourself to be out there and not just stay in the LGBT because what happens is uh, artists like myself it's great LGBT and yay great you know you know they all support but at the same time you don't want to be stuck because then what happens is you won't get the opportunities to be in other places or other networks where they're like oh well we know that you in that world I don't know if you're capable of being this so it's always good to push yourself and not stay stuck and it's right. great to do shows and the LGBT community and clubs and things like that but at the same time as an artist like there's no limitations so it's it's possible you can be in anywhere and it's like that with any artist where like if you do hip-hop they say you cannot blend hip-hop with pop i mean look at mariah mariah carey did was only ballads and pop and she loved hip-hop and she blend them together and look at that now we have it all collective so it's possible you can mesh things and you can make it happen and make it happen that's a song for mom <laughs> that's a song for um so you know you've come this far I'm I'm sure that people are gonna ask you where did you where did you get Music the inspiration him. to say you know why pop and not you know salsa or or some or or pop is something. like where what, I grew up. Let me tell you something. By the way, your your song um, he'll never uh huh. Sing. Yes, yeah, make sure you guys vote for it and get it. The LDM radio and it's also on Spotify, and iTunes, and yes. Apple Music. Yes. <laughs> That song is popping. You know why? Because of the the me the like the choice of music that mm -hmm. you chose. Mm -hmm. It's like pop, but it's also it kind of reminded me of like a freestyle. Back right. A lot of people say that. A lot of people when they hear a lot of my music, they have like they listen to my voice. But like, they have like this kind of like freestyle s. And back to your question was like, oh, where did the inspiration come from? Yeah. So. I've noticed that I have like an ear for pop music and a lot of like the melodies come to me is like very pop. It's so hard and bless those who can do like slow songs and ballads because <laughs> yes, I feel like hard. anybody who can do ballads, they also, I've had people who are like, oh my God, I'll be there with that pen and I cannot come up with a pop melody. But then I'll be there and do a pop and I'm like, I cannot come up with a ballad. Yeah, it's so because yeah. it's like we what you listen to and what you delve yourself into when you grow up it's like you have an ear for it so music has always been um part of me i just didn't know how to push myself to believe that i can do it because um my dad always was into music and i watched like mtv and all my pop idols and i used to love all those stuff and i said oh from there i used to do cover videos and i used to do the dance videos and covers and then i realized you know if you're an artist as a dancer and doing music why don't you push who Jesse Vegas out there? Cause it's so much you can do as a dancer and like let them see your spectacle and all that stuff and doing other people's music. But it's also important to let them push yourself to do who you are. So that way they can respect you and see that you push yourself. And it took me a long time to even believe in that. But I have to give my mother 
a big shout out because my mother shout has pushed me you. out. She was like, Jess, you got to do your own thing because nobody's going to take you seriously. You just stay to covers. You got to go out there. So it's possible. Now, how? Um, I'm going to get a little bit uh, personal with you. Oh, me. yeah. So how old were you when you found, when you realized, you know, something is, I'm, I'm not the same like the other boys, you know, I, I mean, you know what I mean? I think when I was growing up, because I grew up, there was like a lot of male cousins and a lot of them, you know, being in a, in a Hispanic um, family, we all machismo and all that other okay. stuff. So when I was growing up, I was very uh, a sick kid, and I was always in and out of the hospital. I don't know if you, some people will know, but I have like a scar, so some people have seen that in my stomach. Um, but I was always in and out of the hospital. I was born in Lincoln Hospital. Oh, right here. Lincoln Hospital. <laughs> Me too, I think. Was I we here? won't, I don't go back there. Shout out to Mount Sinai. <laughs> <laughs> don't do Lincoln Hospital no more. But I digress. <laughs> but um, I just felt when I was with a lot of my cousins, a lot of them were into sports. And they were always into, like, you know, watching, like, uh, superhero shows. And they was always, like, fighting and sports. And I was not into that because I was sick and my mom was worried about me. So you was always a mama's boy? Always, always a mama's, mama's boy. There's nothing wrong with being a mama's No, there's boy, not. <laughs> I was always a mama's boy. And not only that. I was I made a, my own world for myself. You know, I didn't get into sports, but I used to watch a lot of um talk shows like things like this like Oprah Winfrey and Ricky Lake and then I started watching a lot of uh, acting and Whoopi Goldberg was my inspiration, a lot of 90s and so stuff. I can imagine that to come out wasn't easy for you. I well or was it? it I, family knew I, the family was already know but at that moment growing up it was a little bit more like you know i wasn't too sh i wasn't too sure i was a little bit nervous like oh what they gonna say whatever but then you know uh, the family was very supportive and they knew and they was they just said listen you are a force to be reckoned with just do what you gotta do just do the music just do the acting do what you gotta do and the the if they respect you, they respect you. If they don't, they don't. And they can kiss you, you know, That's and right. just keep it moving because that should not just define who you That's are right. as a person, whether you're gay, uh, Hispanic, if you're black, if you're white, if you're purple, whatever the case may be, your talent is what will get you far no matter what label it is. Absolutely. Things have changed a lot um, in the times as we grew up. You know, how has the time affected you? Has it affected you? Not necessarily. I don't think I, I I don't really necessarily get delve into those things in terms of like how like with the world and the community and things like that. I just focus on me and just be the better me that I was from five, ten years ago that I am now and just continue to strive because if you get so delve into what people say, what people think, you can't do that, you can't do this, you should do that, you should stick to that. You're going to drive yourself insane, and Absolutely. you got to listen to your own thoughts. Your own opinion matters. You can take other people's opinions, but at the same time, whatever makes you happy, you have to go with your spirit and your heart, and only God knows what's right for you and your path. We're going to go and we come back with more with 2019 Pop LDM Independent Nominee, Jesse Reagan. <laughs> and make sure you vote. Remember me. Mean. Get those oh, votes. Vote. <laughs> every day. How many times do you vote? They can vote every day or is it once a month or one, once a day? It's oh, like taking your medicines once a day. Oh, <laughs> Make the stress wait, go once away. A, once a day or once period? Oh, just once period. That sucks. Yeah, I always <laughs> wanted to know. Someone asked me, how many times can you vote? I'm like, I don't know. Just vote. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just vote. And we'll it's only it. one time. So once you vote, that's, that's right. it. And it goes I by whatever they go on their phone, wait, and that's it. So then those people that voted for me, I thought it was like people voting for voting. <laughs> wow. They actually, they actually, actually did. did. We're coming back. Here are the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the hip-hop category. Nuckstar with Trap Selena. Little Deuces with Crunch Time. Yeah. Uh. I'm about to spit on this beat so best believe I'm gonna be the king of this league. And Jake is my city. I rep that. Probably even though haters 
Richard Picasso with no freedom. Jack on a tombstone, yeah, the grave slip. Brought to the native lands, no free will. Here's running on a base, they don't know how we feel. 500 years we persevered, and I still don't think now the worst is here because we're black. And because my skin won't crack, milk and white women's faces, we've been low back. Hire the arsonist with good chick. I and these were the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the hip hop category. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm here with 2019 Independent Music Pop nominee. Jesse That's just enough. Vote it's once a day. With you. Once a day. Only can vote once a day. Just like once when you take your medicines, again. we'll make but the stress go away. No, <laughs> but just make sure you go out and vote. Um, yes. Jesse, new music. Yes. So, um, aside from the He'll Never Be Me, yeah, um, I love that song. Oh my God, so my boyfriend, he loves that song. He's like, oh my God, I love that. And he had to get me the sweater that I was posting on my Instagram. He loves that, but like, I you can it. keep him, you can keep him. He loves that part. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God. So, um, yeah, new music. So I'm actually, um, was in rehearsal. I'm working on like another song it's called uh, Let Me, and it was produced by Cool mm -hmm. Breeze. Um, he's actually a hip hop um, producer, and we got together. He actually um, uh, produced a lot of um, Veronica, Vero G's music um, back yeah. there. So shout out to Vero G. She's also nominated in the pop uh, artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we got together and we have a, a, a song. And I'm actually in rehearsals right now for a performance. And I'm also working on a sophomore EP, which I'm planning to put out in the summer, trying to do at least eight to ten tracks. So we'll see there. But, uh, yeah, there'll be some new music. That's awesome. So mm -hmm. make sure you guys look out for Jesse Vega's new music. I wanted to ask you, I think I did like some type. I'm having a bad hair day. So you look good. Don't mind me. I keep the going camera, going. listen, even if you have it like this and you just it, it just stays there, they can see, see still see your profile, of course. <laughs> um, I seen that you had uh, a project that you did. Um, it was like a video that I, I seen on Facebook mm -hmm. with um, very a very talented singer, Alex. Alex? I don't know her last name. Uh, you know her as Alex. Wait. Yes, yeah. Oh my God. I was like, yeah. wait. Because I know. Like, I don't think she has yes, a yes. Name. Alex, Alex, yes. Yeah, um, I she love was. Her. Yes. She actually was on um my talk show, Vega 411. So I have a talk show. You could um, uh, plug that in Vega 411. We'll talk about that in a second. Mm -hmm. She was on the show, and I just thought she's so amazing. She's she so really humble. She is. I love her. She was on um the r, &R show. Yes. And she. um. She promoted her new video yes. on VidZone. Yes. That girl is amazing. Alex, if you're watching, I need yes. you to come to the House of Karma. I know that you live mm -hmm. far away, but I need you. Need you here, okay, girl? I will, will refer that so that way she can come on this show so yes, she could interview absolutely. her. She was actually on the show on Vega Phone One, and she um, has a new song, which, by the way, um, get it. It's um, called This War. The video and the single is out on April 5th, so make sure you check out Alex. Artist. Oh, my God. The video and the song, the production is like so good. Like it got my hair standing up when I watched it while I was editing the Vega for one episode. And it's like she's so talented. And I was having a conversation. I was like, you don't want to like, you know, you know, like get signed or like when you was voting, they, was it a big deal to win? And she was like, I don't worry about that stuff. Like if you get worried about that stuff, you go crazy. Like I just love to do what I love to do. And that's it. And that's Absolutely. what's beautiful. And she makes a valid point because this is the thing that's very important, um, being an independent artist. You know, you do it because you want to do it. Don't do it because you want to be popping or you're doing it for the clout or you're doing it to be rich. Because a lot of people, that's the first thing they say, I want to be rich. Do it for the love of the art. Yes. You know what I mean? Because when it comes from the heart, it looks more pure. It, it, everything just works out perfectly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what happens. A lot of people, they get stuck in that world of, like, proving something to people because they're worried about what other people think. And back to what I was saying is, like, if you worry so much about opinions, because opinions will drive you nuts. Absolutely. And if you start saying, well, what do you think about this? Do you think I'm a good father, good mother? Do you think I'm doing good on this project? Or should I go back to school? If you worry so much about people's opinions, I guarantee you, you're going to go home and you're going to be like, well, this person said that. Maybe I should do that. You should just stick to what you... Uh, no, and you could be the better self in time, 
but you can't jump from point A to point B. It's like a book. You're not gonna go and open the book and go to chapter eleven where you don't even know what happened to chapter one. Right. So and also like I feel like a lot of relationships, which we'll get into this in petty. Oh yeah. But I feel like a lot of relationships, um, they they become affected because so many people are giving their opinions on on how they think that a real relationship should mm, be. You know what I mean? And yeah. Then before you know it, you're breaking up with somebody who could have been your soulmate all because they listened to somebody else. But um, we'll get back to that after. Okay. How long have you been dancing? Because I've seen you dance in the last time oh you were on God, the show. Yeah. And your dancers, and they were amazing. Shout out to them. What were their names again? Haley Kiriazi. i seen the vi- I Did seen you see video. Did you see her video? Oh, my God. Yes. So I was ready for to mention it. Then what today? Yes. yes. So she's doing her dance. Yes. I was like, <laughs> I said, I know this girl. She looks so familiar. That looks like the girl. She it. just did a, the the um. F it up to the temple, because I know you yeah, can't curse. Temple, F it yeah. up to the temple challenge, the one with Lizzo and Missy Ali. So she's yeah. actually top five awesome. on the most um on the most popular one. So I'm trying to like help her out so she can get to number one. Absolutely. But and yes, you know she did girl, good. Like, she could move. She could dance. That's like my wife and, right there. I love her. And it goes to show that like it doesn't matter. Like she's she's a little you know a little heavy, but she thick she, thick she, not she, heavy she thick. thick. Sorry, she's thick. You're right. <laughs> she's a little thick. She's thick, well, you know, she's thick and well. juicy. She's Cause juicy. I love my big yes, girls, yes. and I get very offended. I'm like, no, 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 I love no. my, I don't like she saying fat. Good, no, but my point is that she, she could dance like better. I think than yeah. any regular. Yo, she was doing some stuff, and I was like, mira esta. Uh huh. Look at, look at this one. I <laughs> love her. But I she's love an her. amazing dancer. Shout out to you. Mm-hmm. Maybe you know. We can get you to come on the show. Come on. Dance again. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, she's doing her thing. She's doing her thing. And shout out to her. She, I worked with her. But I've been dancing since I was, uh, oh, my God. Well, since I was, like, two. But I would say, if I could remember, like, when I was getting into it more and more since two, but at nine. And then I had started to do it more professionally, possibly when I was, like, uh, I would say, like, maybe when I was, like, 14, 15. And then I started from there in my teenage years. Um but I got that from my father. My father was very into dancing. Like, he loved to dance. He was very quick on his feet. Even when, in his, when he was middle age, he was very on his feet. If it comes from my, my um, father's side of the family, we would just love to dance. I was going to say, I think, like, Hispanic, like, the, the, the Hispanic culture, you know, when it comes to dancing and singing. And it's the sasson. It's the sasson. And, and, and this is why they say <laughs> And that, the Goya. And this is why they say that we're, like, blacks. <laughs> Because it's like both of us got, we all got the rhythm. You know? We are, though. Some of them people don't have it. Like me, like, I could do, you know, a little, oh, you know. Okay. But when I was younger, though, I could dance. You still young. Yeah, what are you school. talking about? But when I was, like, in, in, like, middle school, I say middle school. I was, like. That could have been yesterday. <laughs> it's <laughs> setting you up already. Listen, See? it don't I matter. But you, I bet you could do a little eight count. I, I could two stuff. That's how it starts. Off. You see? You know? <laughs> it's all about having <laughs> rhythm. It. It's all about having rhythm and all about feeling no, in your I, soul. I, I the station I, with the... <laughs> that's me, that's me, that's me. <laughs> I, the station with that. No, um, I think if it was choreographed, you know, and I practiced, I think I could get it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's, it's completely gone. And the funny thing is that when I some people ask me, like, how then well, did you could pick up choreography and you it never was a trained dancer? Because the difference is a lot of people is when they're dancers, they say, oh, if you're a dancer, you have to be trained. And not necessarily. I mean, that's part of it. Yeah, you can be trained, you know, ballet and all that other stuff yeah. to be a trained dancer. But it's, it's also about, like, originality I and technique. Dancers. I oh, like- yeah. I feel like um, just like singing, if you could sing a cappella, you could sing. If you could freestyle dance on your own with no choreography, just, you know what I'm saying, just do it, mm-hmm. then you're a, you're a true It's dancer. just like how um with Jennifer Lopez, she even said it. Like she used to get trained as a dancer, but uh, she even got criticized when she first started with it. They were like, you're not the best in technique, but you have something within you that people love, that you're just a natural dancer that, yes, you could pick up choreography and you can nail it, but you just have this original, like, you can have your own technique just by, like, me. I pick up choreography just by watching a video, and some people can't do that. Like, if it's left, right, you, have, yeah. you mirror it right, left. Right, right. So that's, I, it, that's a technique. Right. Yeah, that's a technique. If you could do that by watching it, some people can't do that. They have to yeah. be right. Yeah, you got to be teach, right next to me. See? Show me. I can't. 
And sometimes I could learn it like that, but then it comes, it becomes difficult when I'm like, oh. But for whatever reason, some people's like, how the one you could pick up Corey from a music video and it's right left, but when when I look at it on TV, but I'm doing left right and you do it exactly the way it was taught, like you was in it. It's just the way my mind works. Right. That's a technique. That's I'm telling you, it's a, it's a the brain is an amazing thing. Was you good in school? I was really good in like writing and reading. And but how were your grades at the time? Like when you was I in school, you was, was a straight okay. A student. I, no, I wasn't straight A. I was always like a just average. But was you more like creative, or but it when was... it came to like writing and and like literature and language arts, I was over the the normal um, average level. But my, my, what I'm saying but when is, when it came to math, though, I was dumb as hell. I'm still so dumb. But what I'm saying math. is, like, was you more into like the creative side, or you more into Wait, like, up, the book? Hold up, I think it's a dance break. Let's go. Let's see what you got. Oh, oh snap! Wait, I, we could just do a little bit of a. Uh, let's you know, go. Let's know. go. <laughs> This is um Jord Jordas from um what's it what's it get the get, get, we gotta be like, I don't know what can we do it's a little bit like they get though we could just be like this is, this is a dance break right here on House of Karma with Jesse Vega we, like, hey, we do something simple I I don't choreograph but I could just go with the movie you gonna just be but you know what we do the hips we could be like hey you could do the hips yeah what do you do right left. Oh, you go that way. Okay, so you go like that. You could do that. Or you could be like that. You could just go around. Hey. Go. Hey. And then turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Show the guy. Hey. Oh. I'll do this. Okay. We got to get back into the show. <laughs> so it's peanut butter, jelly time. <laughs> We'll save that for maybe the war yeah, ceremony. Yeah, y'all not ready for my dancing. We'll, we'll get into um rehearsals that. with Karma. <laughs> She'll give you some Karma on stage on the 2019 LDM. So yes. that way we'll do a little number <laughs> oh my for God, the opening. Man. The opening. You come down the ceiling. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Vega, thank you so much. Thank for you for having me again. Karma. Thank you so much. Um, please let the viewers know where they, they can find you and where they can download your upcoming. Yes. Um, your your. Song. He'll never be He'll me. Never be me. <clears throat> where they can vote for it and all that. Go ahead. Yes. So, guys, um, fans, supporters, family, friends, and fans, you can find me on all social media: Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Jesse Vega J E S S E V three G A. Make sure you vote for me on the LDM Radio for <clears throat> uh, 2019 Independent Music Awards to help me be Pop Artist of the Year. Who never be me? Um, vote, vote, vote. Like I said, vote. What you only can. You know, that, that's the best thing I could tell you. Um, and also, new music will be on the way. I have a new single. It's called Let Me. It'll be out um, really, really soon. And we're working on a video. Social media? Social media, yes. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Jesse Vega, www.jessevega.com. J-E-S-S-E-V-3-G-A. And, you know, I love you guys. And thank you so much, Karma for having me here to yes. come out and promote and be here again at the LDM radio. This is wonderful. I'm really excited. And special thanks to Charles and the network. Thank you so much for coming. You guys are ready now. This is our vote for Jesse Vega on the LDM radio for the 2019 pop nominee. Um, yes. And I, I Key have, voting. I have a lot of faith and I think you're going to do great. And I Thank look you. forward, hopefully you'll be performing on it. I don't know. But we'll never know. We never know. We, never know. Until we, get there. we will never know. But thank you guys so much for watching House of Karma. Ten minutes. What are you doing? We still got ten minutes. Oh, we still got ten minutes. We still got because right. we got. You a choreographer, so you wanna? It's eight fifty. So what should we do? We should could still continue. Perform? No, we'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk. We're <laughs> talking. I think we could talk. All right. So we could. We, we'll be right back. Oh. We just talk a little bit of me. We could talk a little bit about um so. Some topics. I mean, all right, so when... when We'll be right back. Yes, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. That's it. <laughs> There's still more. The 2019 LDM <laughs> Independent Music nominees in the R&B category. Voice. With All I Ask. All I Ask is... Mark Hightower. With Stuck on You. Natalie Jean, with All I Want.
Timothy Bonet with Lie to Me. Lie like that. How you gonna lie like that? Don't lie like that to me. To me. I'd rather you lie to me. I'd rather you lie. These were the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the R&B category. Petty talk. <laughs> That's a petty talk. Are we back on? Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> it's your girl, I'm your karma. And I'm here with the 2019 pop. Get it right. <laughs> pop artist of in the edits. Yes. Yes. We still got more time. <laughs> Your acting oh my god yeah please tell me how long have you been acting and what was that like oh my god well i've been acting since i was okay since i was a kid like i will tell so you, you still look like a kid so you have to be more stop pacific, it not oh. pacific. <laughs> <laughs> i was right on the pacific ocean i could remember <laughs> no actually um i've been yeah i've been acting since i was um professionally when i was uh, uh 15 and um uh, since I was a kid, I used to watch like movies. Like my my idols were uh, Robin Williams. Oh my God, shout! Oh, I love him. God rest his soul. I love Robin Williams. Jim Carrey, Whoopi Goldberg, um, Mike Myers. Like those were my go-to because I love comedy. And um, I used to watch all these movies and I used to recite them. And I had like this urge where I would watch something and I had to learn the lines and people and I used to recite it to my family and it would be a non-stop thing and they'd be like oh my god he knows the whole movie I could watch him and not the movie so I started to develop like I always wanted to do the acting and, and getting into character so at the age of 15 um my first time I ever was on stage doing acting was um in junior high school and I was in The Wiz I don't know if you know what the Wiz is, but the black the black version of the Wizard of Oz, you know, with Dino. And um, guess who I played? Let me guess. Can I guess? Go ahead, give a guess. The Scarecrow. Everybody says that, <laughs> it's the, but no? it's not true. Oh! <laughs> Everybody says the Scarecrow, and it's not. You have made a good. I was the lion. Show, that's why. I was oh, the lion. The lion that Everybody was took too. the Scarecrow and the Tin Map. But actually, no, there was still, nobody wanted the lion. Why? Because you had to be big. You had to be dramatic. And nobody, and I, when I was in your house, nobody oh, wanted to be dramatic. But I wanted to be dramatic. <laughs> that. But you want to know what's so funny was, it was, at that time, I went through a very dark time in junior high school because in junior high school, going back into, like, being gay and all that other stuff, I was getting bullied. I was getting, like, people calling me faggot and all those other things at that time because I was starting to get to know who I was. Mm -hmm. And... Now, before you go on, how did you handle that? So I, I can imagine it was tough because a lot of people they they do. And this is what I'm saying about society. You know, like we really need to stop picking on people. Yeah, and we that's really that's do. absolutely true because it all started in school, and and I feel like the, it's still. I don't know if it's still happening to this day, but I think it is still happening. Being bullied of being somebody who's a, a, a I feel like when you're a male and you're gay, you get more bullied than a female, and I don't know why. Yeah. yeah I, but I it is what it is, and I used to get bullied, and I used to get like beat up, and and my mom used to be fearing when I used to go That's to school true. because you know I was sick and all that stuff. So, uh, it was tough because I was always getting picked on the girls love me and then when this audition came one of my um home girls at the time her name was diana botang she was like oh jesse you should do it and she know i used to act and she know i love that and at the time i was like i don't know i don't know i don't know i wasn't and she was like confident. you should do it i wasn't confident mm -hmm. and she was like no i think you should do it so i finally did it i did it quietly i didn't tell nobody like in school i didn't tell nobody it was very private i didn't say nothing to nobody i didn't want it to and then i used to go to the rehearsals learn the like do i can i tell you that when I finally performed for, um, I performed for the sixth grade. For the, I was in eighth grade, so sixth grade, seventh grade. By the time it was time to perform the eighth grade, because even before then, like, everybody loved me. The crowd was going crazy. So I knew that I had to wow my eighth graders because I was going through a rough time, you know, calling this fag and all that. So when that curtain went up and they saw me doing my little dancing and I was, you know, going off, the whole crowd went, ah. Mind you, these are the people that was like, didn't want to be around me, calling yeah, me faggot, feeling really low. Right. They went crazy. Do you, 
can I tell you, after the show, all the guys that used to pick on me came up to me and said, yo, Jess, I respect you. I respect you. Yo, you killed that performance. You did. Like, I wanted, everybody wanted to be around me. That's and I was like, what did I do? Like, that's like a, vi- the, that's like what a was victory. the change? I didn't understand it. I was like, oh. That's definitely a victory story because you took something it. that Damn could you have. you dig it. <laughs> Those are you, in, in you the took, windows. You took something that could have, you could have easily said, I'm never going to do, you know, I don't want to be out there. I, I just want to close. You could have easily closed up and decided that, you know, that you, you could have went a whole different way. But mm-hmm. I'm, I'm glad that you decided to stand up to your fears and to accomplish that. Look at where you are now. Yeah, it came a long way. I was, very, It was scary because the time... When I was performing for everybody and, like, the sixth graders was going crazy. Everybody loved me. But when I finally, like, gained my respect, like, I'm not a f- only a, what you think I am, That's but true. I'm a performer, I'm an entertainer. And they didn't know that. Like, they kind of did. But when they finally s- watched me, it was like everybody gained my respect. And it was like you demanded your respect. I right did. There. Without... Without With violence. violence. That's, With, a, that's, that's crazy. Without man. violence. And I gained my respect on stage and everybody because they was like oh jesse's going places yeah it was beautiful ironic enough when i was in middle school i was in the dancing club i was in the drama club i was in the singing club (laughs) (laughs) whatever child i used to even i remember they used to i used to get bruised oh my god they used to bruise they used to hit me i was in track and field i fought a girl you know my my first fight ever (laughs) was with a boy but we're going to talk about that next on petty talk you guys thank you so much for watching the house of karma how many minutes, minutes do we have five minutes we still two, minutes left. two minutes okay. oh, ah, two minutes <laughs> no, we got but two minutes. thank you so much for watching the house of karma as you guys know um this show is only going to be filmed for one hour now because we have the podcast coming up next petty talk you guys do not want to miss that we being petty <laughs> <laughs> no hair in our tongues no hair in our tongues you know how to do Jesse Vega, thank you so much for coming Thank you, on Carmen. The House of Karma. You guys, make sure that you guys vote. Jesse Vega. Please vote. Nominee. Please vote. And we will know, know if there's bots. Team. So. Yes. <laughs> no bots. We will buy we your know, votes. Don't buy your votes. Don't try to buy your votes. Don't, if you're not promoting and all of a sudden we see bots, you ain't winning. We'll shout you <laughs> out. Mm-hmm. So you guys already know. Stay tuned. After this commercial break. We will be back with Thank you for everybody. And I see everybody watching me. Keep watching me. Have a good night. See you next week. Same time, same place. Same LGM channel. LGM Network. House of Karma. Yeah, classic.